the ultimate question is what happens to us when we die? I think if I didn't create a medium for my research, whether it be writing or the uh, audio compositions I create, I think I wouldn't be doing any justice as society. My way of saying, here, I, I lived on this earth, I breathed on this earth, I eventually will die on this earth. But while I was here, I was able to give something to this, this continuum. <laughs> Tonight uh, at the barn, three things I want to accomplish. The barn's a, a semi-enclosed structure, so it's sort of an outdoor structure, but it's also indoors. With that, I want to affect the environment of the barn itself. I want to infuse frequencies into the structure and actually use the structure as an amplification of any kind of energy or sounds that have been absorbed over the years into the porous material. I'm going to work on the memory of the area, the memory of the actual structure itself, the walls, the floors, the windows, all resonate with sound. Maybe there might be some interaction there uh, between the two energies. I was building computers from scratch. And so I was doing some research on how to expand this computer I was building and ran into some people that were talking about electronic voice phenomena. And I thought it was interesting, so I tried it. And the voices came out so clear and were so shocking and moved me so much, I couldn't stop. A lot of the forms of music, industrial, experimental, avant-garde, also dealt with EVP. So there's always been this connection. When I was building my computers, it kind of coincided with a, an experience I had where I was hit by a car and it tore my bone in half and they had to take me into surgery. To this day, I don't know why he told me this, but the anesthesiologist instructed me just before he put me out that he was going to take me as close to death as I could be without dying. From the time that I was out until the time that I woke up, there was this void, there was this dead space. There was nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. No consciousness, no, no thoughts of consciousness, no self-actualization, nothing. It was literally like someone had taken a scalpel and sliced a chunk of time out of my existence. I became really, really depressed at the thought of that. And uh, I went through a long period of time in a very horrible funk, thinking that there was just nothing there. I think if people actually experience what nothingness really is, that they have a different view of what nothingness means. Right here, we're going to infuse tonal frequencies, just uh, solid pure tone, into the floorboards, and then we're going to record and see if we can draw anything out of this area from it. And then when I ran into this electronic voice phenomena and started trying it and it was providing these results, I thought, you know, this couldn't exist if there was nothing there. It helped me believe that I had a reason to wake up in the morning. 
because if there's nothing there when you die, there's just no reason to go on, is there? Because we're all headed for the same place. I mean, we're all on the same train, aren't we? You know, and if it's headed nowhere, I don't see why everyone just doesn't get off now. What I'm looking to do is create a body of work that somewhere down the line, someone would be able to pick up and use it to actually feed into the work they're doing and maybe come up with some real answers. I found through experimental music, they have a sensibility of exploration and a lot of the same mechanics sonically as the realms that I'm working in in my EVP. So it's a, it's a beautiful coordination, a beautiful match. It's an empty canvas that's well suited for the what I'm trying to paint, to the archive I'm trying to create. The work I do should have some societal significance or some giving back to the world. It's my contribution. <laughs> Thank you.